Thank you, you guys, I was not planning on vlogging today. Not planning to at all. But when I saw what I did at Walmart, I was like, Miranda, how did you spend $341 in one bag? Like how? So I don't know. <laughs> so I thought I would remind myself of what I bought while I get everything ready to be put away. And also at the same time, show you how the hell I just spent $341, one bag. Okay, um, yeah, three forty-one, sixty-four cents. I got some stuff. <laughs> um, today, this morning, I had another appointment um, with a few more tests at my ophthalmologist. We're still in the very strange area of my life with my eyes right now, but we're not talking about it. Um, we are focusing on the good right now, and the good is apparently in this bag. Um, you guys know I'm on a budget, usually. <laughs> um, so basically, all year long, um, when you're on a budget, this is what you do. You only buy what you need. You only buy what you need. And groceries are so stupidly expensive now that... Sometimes you can only afford food and that's a fact. And when I was going real, real hard on the budget, um, that's kind of, you know, I put like the extra stuff. Oh, I'll get it next week. I'll get it next week. You guys, my feet are about to fall off my damn legs. Okay. I, there are certain things that I am used to, um, pampering myself with that when you are on a strict budget, there's no such thing as pampering. Okay, and I have insulin resistance. I have PCOS. My feet look like diabetics' feet. Okay, I'm not gonna show you. Don't ask, it's weird. My heels are like sandpaper, Curtis calls them, actually. You cut me, <laughs> like in bed, literally my feet are horrible. I have so many deep cracks that bleed. Um, they get so bad that I can't walk on my heels, like I tiptoe around the house. Um, I do cream every single night. Um, and lately what I've been using on my feet is Bath and Body Works cream because that's what I have. And you use what you got, right? And then I put on fuzzy socks. I sleep with those on. And in the morning I'm not bleeding, but I'm not better. So like basically using the stuff that I have right now is just making it so I can walk, which is great because I'm trying to lose weight. Um, and I try to walk every single day. So having a bloody sock and a foot that can barely step is not exactly what I need for success. Also, a toenail's about to fall off. It's completely black, it hurts like a bitch. You know, that was before I um, had a good pair of sneakers that actually fit my feet. And because I was on a budget, I stayed with those sneakers because that's what I had. And I'm going to pay the piper. Yep, my toenail is falling off and it feels great. Ooh, it hurts so bad. Um, but you do what you got to do to get by. Um, today, was this in the budget? Not at all. Seriously, not at all. Um, I'm going to text Curtis here in a bit and be like, so babe, I'm really sorry, um, but I kind of screwed up the budget for this week because I just needed some shit and he'll understand and that's, it is what it is. Listen, he just had to buy two new tires for his motorbike. Well, it was my, my idea. He popped one of his tires by accident, the back one. It's a brand new bike, brand new tires. <sighs> you know, it sucks. He ran over a screw. He found the hole. He was going to ride his bike and he couldn't because the flyers flat. The tires flat. Um, so anyways, he ordered some new tires. It was my idea for him to buy two new tires instead of just one because his dream bike um, and what he actually photoshopped to show me what he wanted um, on the picture of his bike uh, was um, tires with white walls. So I said, why don't you just we got to buy a new back tire anyways, which is the more expensive tire because it's bigger. 
um, why don't you just buy a white wall for the back and a white wall for the front, even though the front doesn't need it. And he was like, I, li I like your style. I like the way you think. So we did it. Um, so anyways, sometimes you go over budget and thankfully we have been on budget really good all year to this point to where we have extra. So it's not like Oh no, how are we gonna, we're good, don't worry. Um, seriously, it's just, you know, we're just borrowing from the extras for now and I got some extras, okay? Um, actually in less than two weeks, Curtis and I are going away um, and we are going to stay in a hotel, just us, and there's already a budget for that. Didn't touch that for this already a budget for Toronto, didn't touch that for this, and already a budget for our trip in Florida, didn't touch that for this. We got, you guys, this budgeting system works, okay? As much as I hate it, it does work. And occasionally I break the budget. Sorry. I was gonna go into Sephora to get some pimple patches. I really like these ones that I've bought a few times now. Um, they're called Peace Out, and they work so good with my skin type. Um, and I wanted more. So I actually only have like a couple left. I've been using them a lot, but I'm a picker like really bad. And I find if I put a patch on it and just let that do its magic, my hands stay off my face. And I am my own worst enemy in so many areas of my life, including touching my, I'm, you guys, I'm a pimple popper. <laughs> confessions, confessions. <laughs> But these pimple patches help me to leave my face alone and also it heals so much quicker if I can stop touching it. So that's what I went. I was going to go to Sephora and I was like, oh, it's going to be so expensive if I go into Sephora. Let's go to Walmart. <laughs> you guys, I should have just went into Sephora, honestly. Um, but what ended up happening was I just walked through some aisles that I haven't walked through in a really long time. In fact, I could not find the cosmetic section in that Walmart because I've never, I haven't been into it in years because I don't really like the Walmart at the mall, but that's where I was. So I went there and I was like, where's the makeup around here? It was over by the automotive. And I was like, okay. I didn't know that was here. Like I, anyways, I found it. I bought some stuff. I'm going to show you what I got. It's not going to be in order because I wasn't planning on filming today. I got a ton of stuff to do, but I want to put this away. And I want to show you guys, I treated myself. I got a few things for self-care, basically. Um, also, I grabbed some fishies. I think I, did I only get two? No, I got three. Three packages of fishies. I also went to Sobeys today to get a few groceries. I already put it away. I don't vlog everything, you guys. It's so much better for my mental health. I do not vlog everything. I actually vlog not much of my life anymore and it's good for me. It's really good for me, but I'm happy that I can be here every other day for you. All right, uh, make sure you're subscribed um, to this channel, but also go over to TikTok, find me there and um, I'm on Instagram too and I do Instagram stories now. So you can keep up to date even if I'm not posting vlogs all the time. Um, and also I think what I'm gonna start doing is um, posting my old TikToks from like last summer, um, you know, all last year. I have posted only a few shorts and shorts seem to be doing really well for other people here on YouTube. So I kind of want them to do well for me too. So I'm going to start posting old ones um, and newer ones as I make new ones. Let's get into this. I just want to do a quick apology for the way that I look. I'm not feeling very vibrant today, um, but the sweater's looser on me. So Something's happening, you guys. Woo! Um, if you just saw my heel, I know. <laughs> they are so bad. Do I? I don't want to show you guys. You will be like, it's it's gross. Um, but yeah, like I, like I said, I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I literally planned on crying today, not vlogging. So I didn't put makeup on. I did put a little bit of mascara on, only because I look halfway dead if I don't have mascara on. So I did that, but that's all I did. And I'm, I don't, I'm happy. I just don't really look it. Am I happy? I think so. 
Uh, let's get into this bag. <laughs> okay, these I highly recommend. These are awesome. These are wet ones. It's a baby wipe, basically. Um, you can use it to clean dirty hands or clean up a spill. Like, you know, if you get a little coffee, that's what I do. Um, Winnie is obsessed with clean hands. She definitely got that from me. Um, so she always needs one. And I like to keep these in the car and a couple in my purse. They're so handy. And I'm telling you, these are a wet nap times infinity. These are so much better than wet nap. This is what they look like on the inside. You see that? Wet ones. You rip open a pack, you got a wet one right in there. You don't have to worry about your wipes drying out if you put a whole package into your vehicle. So honestly, I've only bought these once so far. Um, this is my second time buying them and I will always buy them. I just will. They're so handy. Uh, yesterday, if you watch my Instagram stories, then um, you saw us at the beach. We were at the beach yesterday. And of course, when you're done at the beach, you have snacks. We couldn't eat at the beach today or yesterday because we were getting sandblasted. It was very windy, but it was 31 degrees, so I didn't care. Um, so we ate snacks on the way home. But of course, when he brought a friend, they had to wash their hands before they had a snack. So they came in clutch and they were on my mind. So that is why I thought to buy some more of them um, for the boys. It's baseball season, you guys. Cooper made the provincial baseball team. And Skylar is helping out coaching. He is, I don't even think there's a U18 team this year. Um, but Skylar's going to Spain this summer. Um, we're also all going to Toronto. So we just didn't want to commit him to doing that as well. He doesn't do well with a lot of commitments. Understandable. Even adults don't. So I just don't want to overload him and he's working full time. So, uh, he's not playing baseball, but he is helping out. So that's fantastic. And that's why they need seats. Um, I grabbed these because I was in the aisles where these were. And sometimes I go to Walmart just for these. So um, I wanted to pick some up while I was there. These are the unflavored floss picks. Um, my kids all floss. Winnie flosses the most. I Actually, I floss the most because it's part of my OCD. But I like mint. She doesn't. Okay. So she has those. The boys will use mint too, but um, I just like to keep unflavored ones here all the time because my girl loves popcorn. She's getting braces and she's not happy about it. She's really not happy about it. I feel like she's too young to get braces, but Skylar had braces when he was eight. And it's just weird in my head because he seems like he was older when he got them, but he was eight too. They have the same um, issues with their teeth. They haven't underbite, not an overbite, an underbite. So um, she's getting braces soon. So she won't be able to eat popcorn, but until then she'll still have to floss when she has braces on, I know. But um, she gets popcorn kernels in her teeth all the time and she loves popcorn. So um, she's always flossing. And <laughs> are we looking forward to the braces? No. Are we looking forward to paying for the braces? Also, no. If you are young and you are thinking about going into like a career that can make you lots of money, be an orthodontist. Your pockets will be lined with cash, okay? <laughs> um, this is all over the place, guys, because I really just threw everything in here. Um, I got these. I seen these on TikTok like a year ago, I want to say, and I've never tried them. These are the Hydro Seal non-medicated hydro chlorinated acne blemish patch but like I've seen other people use these and because I'm a pimple popper yes I also like to watch that kind of content online I know it's not for everyone but it's very satisfying for some of us okay so leave us alone and don't bully us um I wanted to try them they were like nine bucks but when I buy my pimple patches from Sephora, I pay like 40 bucks for a big box so um what I found is absolutely more affordable these are way more affordable. And I also bought, just trying to see if I can find, oh, they're right here. Um, this Next Care Acne Patch. This was quite cheap. I think it was like $4 or four something. Um, 36 in this. I think I pay like 
40 bucks for 50 or maybe 40 bucks for 40 of my other ones. So I don't know if these are going to work, um, but I want to try them because it's a lot more affordable. So if they work great, then I won't have to go to Sephora as often. But clearly Walmart is a problem for me too because I will buy stuff. Um, this, I'm so happy to find this. Um, I didn't even know it was available in this kind of package. This is the BioSteel Hydration Mix. Um, this is the White Freeze. I thought it was blue. Oh no, I don't even know. I used my last blue one from in here on my way to town this morning on my way to my appointments. Um, and I used the last blue one. Oh damn, this is a completely different flavor. For some reason, I just assumed that it was the blue flavor because this is the blue flavor down here, but I drank them all. And um, this is called blue raspberry. So I'll try this tomorrow because I like to have one every day. So we'll see. White Freeze. I've never tried it. Hopefully I like it. But if I don't, my boys will have it because they love the BioSteel. They, they love every single kind of them. I tried this red one yesterday. It's like Dimetap. It's like medicine from the 90s and I'm not into it. Skylar's favorite is the rainbow. So there's a couple of those left. Um, and there's no blue left because that'd be me. I have them all. They really help um, my stomach. I drink a lot of coffee. And because I'm taking weight loss medication right now, I'm prescribed and I have PCOS. We'll talk about it at some point, but you guys know I'm not talking about it yet. Um, Anyways, I don't eat as much, which <laughs> that's kind of what I need, but I usually don't start eating till around this time of day. Right now is 1.43, so probably when I'm done putting this stuff away, I'll have a bite to eat. Um, but I drink a ton of coffee in the morning, lots of water, and then at some point I'm not hungry, but I feel pukey. So I have a BioSteel and it seems to just like fix whatever's going on because of that medication. Um, but anyways, white freeze. I don't know. Is it good? Tell me what your favorite flavor is. If you guys like this, cause I like the blue flavor, blue raspberry. Is there any other really good ones like that? Because I'm obsessed. It's even better than blue Gatorade, which I need the electrolytes because I walk so much and I get, um, basically like perma Charlie horses in my calves. I have massive calves. Okay. I have massive calves and there's a lot of muscle in there, but that just is another way for me to get hurt basically. So I have to have something every day. Um, speaking of feet, I got these, never tried them before. Gonna try them. Barefoot foot mask with disposable booties. Um, I am supposed to use them once to twice, pass them in. Nope, that's not gonna happen, but I will try them every once in a while. Um, put disposable boot boo 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 boobies. <laughs> booties on clean and dry feet securely close the booties at the ankle for a snug fit leave on for 20 to 30 minutes remove booties and gently massage treatment into feet remove excess product with a towel avoid walking while wearing the foot mask no shit <laughs> uh okay so i got those to try i bought a bunch of stuff for my feet um this is Never heard of this brand before ever, but just saw it. It was reasonably priced, so I grabbed it. Uh, Freeman Flirty Feet Foot Scrub. Exfoliating Peppermint and Plum. Actually, that smells like a freezy. It's a little strong, but we'll try that. Um, Curtis needed some more. I know he uses baby lotion. Don't. It's okay. If you're a man and you don't like lotion that smells, and you don't like men lotion because that stinks. This is really good. This is kind of like, you know, on, <laughs> this is dating myself because no one talks about this movie anymore, but it was really good. Um, my big fat Greek wedding. They used to put Windex on everything. We put a Vino baby daily lotion on everything. It is, it is like a magic healer. Honestly, it is very good um, for everything and also just for dry skin. So Curtis uses that for his hands and his face and his head sometimes too. Um, Winnie applies it every single day before she goes to school and every single day before she goes to bed on her face and her lips even um, and her wrists. Her hands don't get bad, but her wrists get really, really like almost eczema sometimes. It is, it cuts, it's, 
I think it's because she washes her hands too much and she washes like up to here. I know I have similar issues, but at least her hands are clean. <laughs> um, okay. This is another thing. Um, I was actually going to order this on Amazon because I've heard people talk about it. Um, dry lips, dry hands, chafed skin, cracked heels, and dry feet. This is really popular in the States. I know the Aquaphor healing ointment. Oh, it's like closed. I can't even get into it. Um, I'm excited to try it. I don't want to have these feet right now, especially because it's flip-flop season. When it's not flip-flop season, you can hide how disgusting your feet look. Um, but when it is flip-flop season, the world knows. And I don't want y'all to know. I really don't. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I know that probably triggered some of you because I just, I didn't shut it. I'm going to put it on my feet after this video. Ooh, that feels like it's going to be good. That's like a thick Vaseline, right? I think that's going to be good on my heels. I'm excited to try it. Um, I got some L'Oreal Blonde Shampoo. Um, Brightens Blonde, Caring and UV filters, no harsh salts. I've just heard a lot of people talk about L'Oreal lately and I'm easily influenced. <laughs> so I wanted to try it, blonde shampoo and conditioner. It is a little bit purple, but not a lot. Um, I'm actually not loving the color of my hair right now. I did just get it done last week. Um, it's so brassy right now. I want silver, like silver platinum. But also, Jen and I, my hairstylist slash sister-in-law, we really don't want all my hair to fall out, so I can't bleach it like crazy. So I need to just tone it more often. Um, got this for Curtis, Blistex. He asked for it like a week ago, and when we were in the States, we looked for this. They don't have it. Um, but when we got home from the States, I looked at his, I call it his jewelry box. He's offended. It's a man box where he puts his things. Um, and there was a friggin' pack unopened in his man box. So I got another one just so he's got lots. So, cause sometimes I forget that he asks for things. So honestly, the boys too and Winnie too and myself, like I forget things. Um, if I remember, I like to pick it up because it's, you guys, I don't do good when I go into a store because I go a little, I go a little large, okay? So it's good if I just have extra and then I don't have to go back to the store because I always buy more than I need, you know what I mean? I got another thing from this brand, um, Flirty Feet Overnight Foot Treatment Healing Muralia Oil and Cocoa Butter. Whew, reading. This one doesn't really have a scent. So that, that's good because sometimes... Curtis is so judgmental. Like if I rub A535, what stinks down here all the time? It's like, it's cream from my muscles because I'm trying really hard. <laughs> oh, did I get three? Oh, I got three of Curtis's creams and Winnie's. But Curtis is the only one who ran out. There are bottles all over this house of that. Um, okay, yes. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered these. I have two left. And this is what I use to wash off makeup at the end of... A day where I wear makeup. Um, if I'm not wearing any makeup, I usually just use something that's not as expensive because these are, and I've been using these. If you have ever watched me shop before, you've probably seen me buy these Olay Daily Facials. I've literally been using these since I was in high school. So my mom was an Oil of Olay woman, an Avon woman, um, and because she liked Oil of Olay, I did too or something, but she's right because this is really good. And it cleans off my makeup really, really well. And it's soft, it's good for my skin. It doesn't like make me break out or um, make my skin get really dry or anything. This works great. So I'm glad that I remember to pick that up. Also, if I only have mascara on, I rip this or cut it in half. And I just use a half of a wipe because I really don't need a whole lot of cleanser when it's just mascara. So, you know, a little bit of penny pinching, a little bit of stretching your dollar where you can, right? Random barbecue sauce, um, Sweet Baby Ray's. Curtis um, uses this a lot for when we have wings. And if we're having wings and he doesn't have his wing sauce that he makes himself, this is part of the mix, not all of it. 
um, he's totally bummed. So I just saw it on my way to the cash and I just grabbed it and kept going. So I got that for that. I think we actually have some in the fridge, maybe even some in the pantry. But like I said, if I see something and I know it's something that we need, I pick it up because no one else is going to do that for me. <laughs> Isn't it great? Oh my goodness. Um, I got myself some more of my favorite cartridges for shaving because it's summer. Not everybody shaves and that's okay. You do you boo-boo, but my legs are going to be smooth. Even if my feet are like so gross. <laughs> I'm at a Costco for this one because Costco made me fall in love with this gel. Um, what is it called when it like soaks in your lotion? Sorry. <laughs> um, what is it called? Cream gel, or gel cream extra dry hydro boost fragrance free hyaluronic acid. Um, the only other one that I like a little bit more than this is uh, is it Glam Glow? Yes, and it's their gel lotion, but it's eighty dollars a bottle. This is twenty twenty one at Walmart, um, but when it was at Costco, it was I think it was like twenty some dollars, maybe twenty dollars for two. It was a way better deal than this. This is the first time I ever bought it like at another store other than Costco because I checked the last couple times I was there and they didn't have it. So kind of need it because like, you know, when you go to the beach and you get like a little bit of the sun, um, you know, so like my cheeks are a little warm. I need to make sure that I am um, keeping my skin hydrated because my... I have that combination skin. Sometimes it's sweaty and oily and sometimes it is completely dried out. Why? I don't know. Um, also for my skin, this is, <laughs> this is just like all self-care and barbecue sauce. Um, this is uh, Thursday Plantation Tea Tree Face Wash Foam. Okay. Um, this is for when I, I'm not wearing makeup because I use other products too. Um, but I do use a product from Lush that is tea tree oil as well. And I feel like it's good with my skin. My skin enjoys the tea tree oil. Also, I use, um, I use it like topically, like the actual oil as well on my piercings to clean them. Um, and it works great. I had a keloid once on my nose ring when I had first gotten it. And my piercer at the time told me to use, um, tea tree oil and life hack it took the keloid away a keloid is like an infectious bump basically it's very painful um but it worked so uh, tea tree oil is kind of magic i also spray it in my daughter's hair so she won't get the lice oh shivers down my spine oh my knees oh no okay sorry i bugs and germs so that's uh, very triggering for me um okay I'm not going to think about it. Um, okay, this is also Thursday Plantation. I like that brand. If you don't, sorry. Um, Australia, maybe that's why I like it because it's from Australia. I love it. Okay, so this is Tea Tree Medicated Gel for acne. They kind of go together. They were beside each other on the shelf, which would be why I picked up both. Oh, cute. Look at that little tiny thing. Cute. Honestly, I think... As I get older, the more I realize the closer to nature we can get, the better. <laughs> and yes, I just said that. And look at these fake nails that I bought that I'm going to glue to my hands. <laughs> I just feel so much prettier and more put together when I have my nails on. Painting my nails, I have so many um not paint brushes nail polish i have uh, so many different colors it does not stay on my nails anymore i don't know my nails are not like they're not horrible but anytime they grow to any length i break them every time and um also when i put nail polish on it just chips because i i work hard like i clean I am constantly doing dishes. I am constantly cleaning and scuffing my hands up. And it's like you paint your nails one day, the very next day it chips. And I don't like that. That bothers me more. Having chipped nail polish on bothers me more than having no nail polish. 
So I'm just not in my nail polish era right now, but I love nails. And um, I think I only got one pack for me today. I do still have some. I try to keep a couple at home because if I'm like going on a date and I want to feel pretty, I'll slap some nails on. Um, normally, you guys have heard me always talk about the ones with stickers on the back and how much better they were for me. I'm over the stickers. I'm over it. I really am because uh, they don't even last one day for me anymore. They will already start um, lifting a couple hours after I put them on and I put them on right and I dry my nail out and I use the alcohol wipes and I push my cuticles back and I do everything, but they just don't last anymore. So now I'm gonna ruin my nails and use glue because it makes me feel better to have them on. And, um, oh, I did find this, um, Kiss Glue Off, Instant False Nail Remover. So my problem with the real glue, like using the, the bottle of glue, my big problem there is, um, I kind of want to take my nails off and they're not coming off yet. And I really want them off because they're bugging me and I need to do like household chores and I can't do that stuff with these nails. I mean, you girls who can, I am impressed because I just, I think it's probably something to do with my OCD as well. Cause like it's my anxiety issues and it's probably something to do with that. Like I, if, when I want, mm, when I want my nails off, I want them off now. And I will pick them off with this glue and it will damage my nail because it's glue and you just peeled it off and it's like super glue, right? Like it's crazy. Um, so I'm hoping this will help. I'm going to give it a go. I've done it a few times and I was looking back on pictures of my Instagram last night, I think. And I was like, oh, I remember those nails. Those were so great. And they stay on better. It's just, it's my issue that when I want them off, I need them off. And I, like, I'm a picker. Like I said, like, I'm going to, it's going to come off, but I'll probably hurt myself. So hopefully this will work. If you guys have any hacks uh, that you think would be beneficial for me to know, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. Um, also, I bought these, but I bought these for my girl, Luthia. Um, she doesn't have a nail appointment or anything like that. And I was like, should we do your nails? Like, do you want me to, she always watches me when I do them. Um, so she was like, yes. So I got these, these will actually match her dress perfectly. Um, so I got two packages cause I want to do one on her as like a trial run. Um, and then obviously we'll save one for the day of prom and we'll do those in the morning. I think I'm also doing her makeup and her hair. She's, she's gorgeous. It's going to be the easiest job ever. Um, okay. And then also for nails, I got some of these. Okay. The colors did me in on these. Like, hello, how cute. Um, 10 pieces, perfectly shaped nails. Got those. Also got this like buffer kind of thing and this buffer kind of thing. Just because I want to look like I know what I'm doing when I do the teenager's nails. I want to look really like professional. <laughs> that is why I bought them. <laughs> it sounds funny, but I just want to look like I have everything that I need. Um, and then also... This is called a premis, premis, per, pumis, pumice stone, and it is to scratch the crap out of my heels. That's the last thing that I bought. Oh, actually, the last thing that I bought was this bag because I was not planning on shopping at Walmart and going that hard, but I did that. And honestly, does that seem like a lot to you? It really doesn't seem like a lot to me. I mean, I'm a shopper, right? I'm a shopper. I, It's been one of my very favorite things to do since I was a kid. Um, so, like, we know I can spend money easily. But, like, I just feel like money goes easier than it used to, which is actually a fact. So, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and helping me see the damage that I've done. But listen, sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to do it. And I want to like be cute and healthy everywhere. And I can only fix certain parts of me. I can't fix what's going on. So I am trying to just live my best life. And if I can do something to make my day brighter, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I don't have a diagnosis, 
My doctors are not happy though. And um, we're pushing things forward quickly with my eyes and with whatever's going on in my brain. And we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Am I stressed? Absolutely. I am. And take care of yourself. Do whatever you can do to take care of yourself. And that's, don't wait till you're 37, 38. Just, you know, I don't even know. We don't know what's wrong. I just, it's stressful. But I'm gonna worry about my feet for today, okay? My brain, I can't fix that. So I can fix my damn heels. And if my neurologist like sees my feet and he's like, wow, your brain is sucky, but look at those feet. They're so nice. I will be so happy. You know, like even if my toenail falls off and really, I'm just going to fix what I can. I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I'll see you guys all again really soon. Bye. <laughs> Try to grab the stuff that just the not the stuff that just the to grab the stuff that just the